Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. It is Friday, June 2nd. Had a question come in about the QAnon shaman, Jacob Chansley. He's been released from prison and he is now, <laughs> now grifting. <laughs> He's uh, been changed by God and he no longer wears his, uh, his uh, Royal Order of the Loyal Water Buffalo outfit and now he's dressed in a white suit, bare-chested, and with an American flag bandana, hawking his wares on a on a, a, a website and offering $500 uh, spiritual counseling sessions with him. Mine are free. <laughs> anyway, did the QAnon shaman find God in prison? And is he really a reformed person or is he just grifting? Uh, for entertainment purposes only, let's find out how Jacob is doing these days. Uh, no, just what's Jacob's overall thing? What's going on with him? Let's find out. He seems to have forgotten. He, he still seems to win conspiracy theories. Still loves Donald Trump. And he's making money. He's trying to make as much money, dark money, whatever it needs to be done. Money, 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 money. Backroom deals, stuff like that. Okay. Where are we going to cross that with? King of Swords. Um, so he might be a bit uh, wiser for uh, his time in prison. That, you know, he went into prison a fanatic that would fall on his sword for Donald Trump. I think he leaves prison understanding that that was a dumb thing to do. And now he's going to be a lot more astute because there's money to be made here in fame. He's got, he has infamy, so he's trying to cash in on his infamy. In the past, there's, you know, he, he believed the emperor. He did everything the emperor told him. The emperor had no clothes on, but he just pretended that the emperor was fully dressed and had his best interests and would protect him. Emperor ignored him. Current situation, Queen of Cups. No comment. Um, yeah, I think he's trying to, you know what it is? He's trying to keep a lid on his emotions. Again, he's trying to project that king of sword energy that, you know, I, I came out of this spirit. I came out of spiritual transformation. I'm much more mature and I make good decisions now. But in his heart, he's a very emotional person. And right now he's trying to keep those emotions in check because being emotional will undermine this persona that he's trying to create. Overarching is the King of Cups. So we've got the Queen and the King of Cups here. Um, you know, again, he's try, again, trying to project that he is an emotionally mature person. He's keeping his emotions under wrap, but he's trying to, again, uh, uh, project uh, confidence and, uh, and such. But he's really burdened. I, it, he's burdened by his emotions. He's also burdened by his actions, what he's done in the past. Um, the thing is, a lot of the Trump supporters are fanatics. They run on emotions. You know, they want strong emotions. They want passion. And he's trying to sell them something of a controlled, contained passion. So it's kind of watered down to them. And it's going to be a hard sell. Not to mention, he's got a lot of burdens because he's a convicted felon. And he's got a lot of stuff he needs to deal with that he's probably not really dealing with here. Outcome, judgment. Um, He'll have his day in the sun. He'll sell some merch. But what's going to happen is he's going to be he's, he's going to probably be made irrelevant because people know who he is. 
They, they saw him in court. They liked him for who he was. They don't like him for being uh, this calm person. They liked him for being the crazy dude with the buffalo hat on. Underneath it all is the hermit. It's an illumination. He's trying to find a different path forward. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, he's going to meet resistance on this one. Now, does that mean he's a changed person or not? It sounds like he's trying. You know, he's trying to keep his emotions curbed. But here's the thing. Who is he going after? Who is he sending his message to? Look at Michael Cohen for as an example. Michael Cohen, after he got out of prison, basically, you know, recanted all this bad stuff. Not recanted. He, he apologized for the crappy stuff that he did for being a lousy human being. And he might still be a lousy human being, but at least he's trying, it looks like he's trying to be better about it. And he recognizes that that Donald Trump used him and threw him under a bus. And he has no problem recognizing that and seeing the truth for it. Jason Chansley doesn't. He doesn't recognize that. He is still a big Trumper. I've, I did read stories on this a couple days ago when the question came up if, um, if he had a change of heart, and he doesn't, he's still a Trump fanatic. He's still uh, posting QAnon stuff. The thing is, is now he's trying to come across like a, I don't know, like a Steve Bannon type, you know, some type of intellectual, or not saying Steve Bannon's intellectual, but you, you know, Steve Bannon doesn't come across as this really passionate guy. Roger Stone's much more animated. Steve Bannon comes across as just being a lot more stoic. And I think he's trying to be that way. And it's just not going to resonate with the Trumpers. So I don't think this new persona is going to work for him. Okay, but let's ask, will this new persona work for him? Will this new spiritual, I found God by my merch, Jason Chansley, how is that going to work out for him? Well, it either really works or it doesn't. But I think this is people leaving him. This is this is just this isn't working. Um, you know, he's got the message and people are walking away from the message. And he doesn't, you know, it's like, what happened? You know, I thought I thought I had this. I thought I had this in the bag. People aren't interested. You know, in the, he was fighting from higher ground. So think of that in the Capitol. He had developed a reputation. He had developed a cult following. He had infamy. He was he was doing really well as far as that goes. But his you know, it, it was kind of he was foolish for what he did. It was naive. What he did was naive. The battle that he fought going in the Capitol, just following Donald Trump blindly, that was a naivety on his part. And but you know, this is also him kind of trying to reach out to uh, the Republicans as well. And there we go again, keeping his emotions in check. We have cup cards here. He's keeping his emotions in check. But doing that doesn't work. And then underneath we've got the, the High Priestess. So he, I think... He's smart enough to recognize after a while that this new image isn't going to work, you know, financially, isn't isn't gonna work on the the bait on the people he's trying to reach out to. So does he change the image or does he change the group that he reaches out to? That's a good question. One question I'll answer. How's his feeling towards Donald Trump? How is his feelings towards Donald Trump? Okay, let's find out. Well, he's going forward with a plan this time. 
being a lot more judicious in his decision making, keeping that those emotions in check and trying to find that new path. Uh, it sounds in there we go again on the bottom. It's that naivete. He hasn't learned. He hasn't learned his lesson from Donald Trump. He is still he is still naive about Donald Trump. This time, though, he has a plan and he's going to keep his emotions in check. And that's what's going to make the difference this time. And that's going to lead him to the path of glory. OK, so still a fan of Donald Trump, still trying to keep his emotions in check and still not appealing <laughs> to the MAGA base because they like passionate people. I don't know what else to tell you with this guy. Okay. Does he find a new group of followers? Does he, does he find success, long-term financial success, with this new persona he's created? Does he find long-term success with this new persona he's created? Whether that means he reaches out to a new base or they finally, you know, accept him. Let's find out. Does he does he re hit some financial success? Okay. That doesn't look like financial success. That looks like somebody who just doesn't know what to do next. He's tried everything and it's, nothing's working because they've rejected you. They've walked away from you. You're yesterday's news. You know, this is, yeah. Yeah, the, the, I love Davy Jones. I love the monkeys. Davy Jones, after the monkeys got canceled, he tried everything he could to stay relevant in Hollywood. You know, it's why he appeared on the Brady Bunch episode and such. It's kind of that. You know, he's just nobody cares anymore. He he was he was a he was a one time thing, and now he's not a thing anymore. Was that guy? Um, America's Got Talent or something like that. She bangs. He gets a lot of offers he doesn't like. He tries a bunch of different things. The audience isn't buying it. He tries to reinvent himself. He tries to find different audiences. Nobody's drinking from his cup. And in the end, the, the big money that he thought he was going to get, it's just not there. There's no support there. <sighs> Because they liked, they liked it when he supported the emperor. They liked him when he was a when he was a king, a boss. They don't like him like this. He's not doesn't meet their expectations of what they want. Anyway, so yeah, he'll give it a run for a while. He'll sell some merch. He'll be he'll be a curiosity, and people will be bored with him and move on because there's more interesting things for them to do with their lives. So good luck. You were you would have been better off finding God and trying to be a good person. Just saying. May not pay as much, but the spiritual reward would have been amazing for yourself. Oh well, you still have time. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.